So recently, I seen the trailer to Sonic Forces, which was directly from Nintendo for the trailer, which was the modern Sonic gameplay, classic Sonic gameplay, and a third new playable character. It wasn't really a actual gameplay, just a teaser to show the third new playable character. So I came to the conclusion of my personal thoughts and opinions to Sonic Forces. So what do I think about Sonic Forces when I saw in the trailer? Well, I seen the modern Sonic gameplay, so what do I think? I loved it. I honestly loved the gameplay trailer of Modern Sonic. And not just only that, the interesting fact of Sonic Team putting a new Hedgehog engine, which is the Hedgehog Engine 2, so it's not one, basically like from the replica for uh, Sonic Unleashed, they used the Hedgehog Engine 1, so it has been upgraded to the Hedgehog Engine 2. So that's pretty darn interesting. So I think the boost formula may be very different for what we've seen from re recent um, modern Sonic gameplay. And by looking at it, so far it's good. It looks like 60 frames per second. I really love the modern Sonic gameplay. I also really love the fact how the Death Egg robots are in the background. And you see one of these, I don't think, in my theory, I believe it's the Freedom Fighters. Shooting down to the um, Death Egg robots in the background. And it's actually pretty cool. And you see all these like hellfire just coming down near Sonic while he's running into that, uh, I don't know, I just call it the rooftop run hell zone. It's actually kind of badass, to be honest. Looking at Modern Sonic, how the way he's just running and the atm atmosphere looks so dark and kind of edgy, and just the way how the boost works from that gameplay, I really love it 100%. I really love the fact how they put the blur around the edges to, to make it how intense it is when Sonic is running through debris, it looks really, really awesome. I also seen that in the side of the city, um, it looked at like a, a fused green hill zone mixed with the stages, which came to my theory about um, Classic Sonic for Green Hill Zone, um, which I will come back with Classic Sonic with my personal opinions about that character. But for Modern Sonic, there was like this other area near the city the the crazy hell of city fire of rooftop run that's what i call it um there was like this greenish uh looks alike green hill zone and i think it's part of classic sonic's uh story to me for some reason because if you look at the trailer to classic sonic um it's green hill zone again and it's fused with besides water it's mostly sand in Green Hill Zone. So it's actually pretty interesting to see something like that, how Sonic Team developed that stage. It has something, there's like something secret hidden to those uh, areas. And I believe that Sonic Team also has um, probably possibility hidden areas that you could travel with modern Sonic which I believe that it's going to happen for Sonic Forces. And to be honest, by looking at the trailer and stuff and looking at how the Homing Attack looked at like, where they put this little um, little spiral, little whip, where, where it's supposed to be, um, interesting fact, that little lineup when Sonic does the jump, where it does that little lining from the blue lines for Sonic, it was supposed to be in Sonic Unleashed. But now, it's going to be in Sonic Forces. And by looking at how the jump is from Sonic Forces, when Sonic does, when Modern Sonic does the Homing Attack, it looks very, very interesting where he does the little jump. It's like based on the recent trailer, which they call it the so-called Sonic Project 2017. Now we just got uh, the new update of the Sonic title, which is Sonic Forces, where you see when Sonic, when Modern Sonic jumps up, you see that little lining effect of Sonic when he jumps. When Modern Sonic jumps and he goes down to the ground and then he does, you know, basically what he does, his actions and where the debris falls down. And when Sonic does the boosting, all the debris, love the action. It's just really amazing. I feel like the modern stages are going to be quite darn good. By looking at the gameplay, to be honest, it looks 60 frames per second. It looks like 180p. 
Um, it looks kind of little like, you know, alpha. Like, if you look at it, it looks kind of look a quality kind of look. If you, like, look at it from, you know, the official Sonic the Hedgehog's channel, from the Sonic Forces gameplay, it looks pretty, like, not that, you know, detailed. But I know for sure Sonic Team will eventually fix that problem because I believe it's the Alpha build. Therefore, I want to bring it up to the next one which is the classic Sonic gameplay. Now, the classic Sonic gameplay, to be honest, um, a lot of fans were complaining about this, the disappointment of Sonic Forces. Um, I heard about the linear stuff. I don't think, to me personally, it's going to be linear. It looks linear, but if you, if you when it comes out in E3, I believe that it won't be like linear. It will be linear in some parts, but then if it, if we go deeper into the stage with the modern and classic, including with the third new playable character, which I'm gonna go to next, uh, I believe that the gameplay will most likely not be that much linear. So my thoughts on the classic Sonic gameplay. Um, I like it. I also love the fact how they put Sonic's, uh, when, when he goes to the spring, he does this little spin Sonic CD pose based on Sonic CD and Sonic Mania, which is quite pretty darn good. I have a belief that Sonic Team actually wanted to catch that reference to what Sonic Mania was catching, which was the Sonic CD reference uh, when, when Sonic jumps into the spring and he does this little swirling thing. So it pretty much changed when Sonic goes to the spring. Where in Sonic Generations, he just basically jumps up normally, like from the Sonic the Hedgehog Sega Genesis era. And by looking at it, Green Hill Zone uh, being repeated again to S Sonic the Hedgehog, I find it kind of a bit tiring. And here's why. I mean, yes, I know, Green Hill Zone is one of the most iconic stages of all Sonic history. That's all how he all started it since the 1991s, right? The only problem that I have about Green Hill Zone is that it's like Sega is putting this nostalgia to uh, Green Hill Zone all over again. Like, we already have so much Green Hill Zone. If you look at it, we had Green Hill Zone in Sonic the Hedgehog. We had um, um, other, like... Green Hill Zone likes, like from Sonic Heroes, but at least Green Hill Zone was trying to be different, but it still looked it kind of like Green Hill Zone, if you look at it, um, from Sonic Heroes, if you go to Seaside Hill, it looks mostly like a clone to Green Hill Zone, and if you look to Sonic Adventure 2, there was Green Hill Zone, and if you look at, uh, I think Sonic Advance 3, there was Sunset Hill, which was dan, dan, dan. it sounded Green Hill Zone music, basically, but just a remaster. It was it was it was like still Green Hill Zone. And then we had um Green Hill Zone and like the Salchi uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Uh, I believe it's the Salchi Olympic Games. We had Green Hill Zone and we had Green Hill Zone in Sonic Generations, and now we're having it in Sonic Forces including Mania, and also from LEGO Dimensions, Green Hill Zone. That's a little bit my disappointment. I don't really like the fact that they had to put Green Hill Zone. I feel like they should have put an original stage to Sonic Forces with Classic Sonic. Now, nothing about the linear thing. I know for sure, I believe that it's not going to be as linear as Sonic fans are thinking, because there's a lot of blind hate and a lot of... Uh, Disappointment to this from Sonic Forces of the stages being linear. I will cover up with the next video about that um, About Sonic fans complaining all about that situation um, So by the gameplay terms of classic Sonic it looks like 60 frames per second Doesn't look as much detailed of Green Hill Zone like from Sonic Generations where you see there was a lot of details It was the background there was water but besides water we have sand in Green Hill Zone which I have another theory, this could be part of the plot to the story. Where Classic Sonic is running, and he, he's in this Green Hill Zone. Maybe it's going to be called Sandy Green Hill Zone, or Sandy Hill Zone, who knows. But maybe Classic Sonic ran into this uh, Green Hill Zone, and he noticed that the, besides water, there was sand. And he was like, okay, what's going on? Why, why does Green Hill Zone have sand? And then he probably gets sucked into the uh, a dimension... 
like basically like he gets into this dimension and that's when he enters into modern sonic's present where the city is on hellfire he's classic sonic is like what just happened how did i get here it must be eggman up to this because according to the description of sonic forces eggman has taken 99 percent of the world and it's up to sonic and one of his friends including the third playable character but the sonic and his friends are not basically play playable characters they're going to be co-ops um so sonic classic sonic and the third new play playable character is up to them to you know stop the evil alliance maybe the third playable character could be a good guy or maybe a bad guy um it's interesting the fact how they said that a new ally will rise up as well kind of thinks about me about this third new playable character that the third playable character will be a new ally and it's actually kind of interesting from looking at the classic sonic stages in green hill zone um green hill zone doesn't look as good as generations like i said but i know for sure lazuka has said that they're gonna um you know fix that problem and when it comes out in e3 hopefully it's all you know gone it's gonna be probably a perfect green hill zone it's gonna be great it's gonna have better graphics than what we've seen from the previous trailer i believe it's just an alpha build of green hill zone for classic sonic now about the music theme to sonic forces and oh god i love genuinely love the the theme to sonic forces it fits with every single sonic title like sonic uh sonic heroes sonic x and it also looks it actually feels like an anime music if you listen to it it's just it's so catchy as hell it also feels like uh goku like a goku anime like by listening to the music with the guitar and the the, the beats swift with that music it's just it's so catchy and i listened to it like more than 90 times it was really really catchy also i used the music but the t lopes unofficial remix to sonic forces um i actually put it for that um recent uh video that i did which is sonic legacy and it actually really fit well and i really love the music to sonic forces the theme song a hundred percent really like it it's sonic the hedgehog really he has he's supposed to have the great songs and you know he's he's that he's that character that has great soundtracks like green hill zone uh you have crush 40 music and it it, it was really great and also the theme song for sonic forces it really sounded like the theme song for sonic runners i rate the music just a 10 out of 10 perfecto just great and okay just amazing just 100 percent amazing soundtrack now about the third new playable character which will be in sonic forces i genuinely believe that that character could be a fox i don't think it's gonna be like a wolf it doesn't look like a wolf to me it looks genuinely more like a fox and a lot of, i saw recent people saying it's gonna be bob Bubsy the Bobcat. I was just laughing out loud. My like, I was like, <laughs> like, how could Bubsy be in Sonic Forces if he's a dead franchise? I mean, Bubsy's not gonna be there, and Sega doesn't even own Bubsy, so why would Bubsy be in Sonic Forces? He looks like him, but if you look closely to the trailer, Bubsy doesn't wear gloves. He that character, that third new playable character, is wearing gloves and he's wearing shoes, and he's not wearing no shirt. Bubsy wears a shirt with an exclamation mark on, you know, basically on his t-shirt. And it's just pretty hilarious. And how Sonic fans thinking that it's Bubsy the Bobcat? It's not Bubsy the Bobcat. I, I highly doubt to you 100% it is not going to be Bubsy the Bobcat. I genuinely believe that it could be one of, one of the characters from the Archie comics. Which I find pretty rare that they're not going to actually bring... Archie comic characters, but maybe it could be based on the Archie comics. Maybe it could be based on Sonic Chronicles because by looking at the trailer to Sonic Forces, I have this like little feel of Sonic Chronicles. Like Sonic Chronicles feels like a dark game. If you look at the ending where Eggman takes control of the whole city, 
I feel like it's going to be like a Sonic Chronicle feel to the gameplay. And to be honest, I really generally love that. I honestly cannot wait until Sonic Forces come out. I feel like it's going to be a good success. I feel like Sega is knowing what they're doing. F despite all the backlash where people are saying, you know, oh, it's going to be linear, it's going to be crappy and stuff. Guys, it's going to be... Uh, it, I believe it's it's an alpha build. They're gonna adjust the problem, and hopefully once once it comes out to E3, it will be better. It will be generally generally better, much better graphics, 60 frames per second, and it will be just just fine. I believe that it's gonna be a good game. It's not gonna be a bad game. A lot of people are saying it's gonna be Sonic 06. Which I'm like, why would it be Sonic 06? It's not going to be Sonic 06. It's from the creators from Sonic Generations and Colors. So why would it be Sonic 06? See, that's the problem with fans. I mean, I don't understand why the, why they come with this like, oh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be crappy. When it when the when the gameplay didn't even came out for for E3 yet. So, you know, I'm going to save that for later about the f uh, fan base complaining about it. And for me and my personal thoughts. My only one problem with Sonic Forces is just the Green Hill Zone. That's it. I know a lot of people complain about it being linear. And I understand. I respect their criticism about the linear stages. I generally believe, as I said, it won't be as much linear as fans are thinking at it as it is. So, that's, that's my personal opinions to Sonic Forces. Now, what do I rate this trailer? I rate it a 8 out of 10. Good, just amazing. So, yes, guys, when I look at game trailers, and I'm going to review it, and I'm going to rate the trailer for my own personal opinions. So, by looking at Sonic Forces, I am really hyped for the classic Sonic gameplay and modern Sonic, including the third new playable character. Oh, man, I cannot wait to see who is this third new playable character. I believe it's going to be a fox character, not going to be Tails, it's not going to be a skinny Big the Cat. It's so hilarious <laughs> when they said it's going to be a skinny Big the Cat when it's not going to be skinny Big the Cat. Um, it's going to be a new third playable character and it probably will be different compared to modern and classic. Or maybe it will have the boost formula, but it will have something different. Maybe it could possibly potentially have an adventure formula. Who knows? So that is my review to Sonic Forces. Stay tuned on my next review to Sonic Mania. Peace out. Be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Love you guys, and see you in the next.